Hey guys, good morning. Um, I just wanted to come on here because I felt like it was urgent to share, like in my spirit. So lately, I haven't been really doing good in myself and the fact of walking with God. I've been doing what I wanted to do and I've been disobedient. And, you know, obviously sin. And um, last night, I came upon a verse that I knew was intended for me. And it scared me. And, you know, one of the things of the spirit is fear of the Lord. And my heart has gone really hard. And I was I kept trying and praying and, you know, seeking God, even fasting to see um, if I could hear him. But uh, nothing until after I broke my fast. And, you know, God is always perfect with his timing. And God knows I like to study and look up things all the time. And what I found was, you know, was on YouTube, just this girl talking about the word, but she pointed out to a fact that I came upon on, and it's Hebrews 10, 26. And it says, for if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins but a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fiery indignation, which shall devour the adversaries. He that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses. Of how much sore punishment suppose ye shall he be thought worthy who hath trodden under foot the Son of God and hath counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was sanctified, an unholy thing, and hath despised unto the Spirit of grace. For we know him that hath said, Vengeance belongeth unto me, I will recompense, saith the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. When I read that, it just hit me, like fear hit me in my heart. Because, you know, everybody sins. But, you know, if you know the word, if you're a, a Christian out there, if you're lukewarm, you know, God says that even if you're lukewarm, he'll spit you out of his mouth. Because you can't be hot or cold. You can't be with God, one foot with God and then one foot with the world, which is Satan. You know, the things of pleasure of this world. And that's what I was doing. And I had made a mistake and I didn't repent. And I was, you know, doing my own thing. And in turn, it made my heart hard, you know. And, you know, with what the times we're living in, um, there's a lot of Christ Christians out there that having dreams of like the rapture and things of that sort. And I'm not saying the rapture, you know, you can't put a set date or time on it. I'm not going to be a false prophet on here. But I don't think it's a coincidence because when you look at the scripture, it talks about a blood moon bef before Jesus' return. And that's like when I think the rapture is going to happen as well. When you look into scripture and you go into Revelation. And I don't think it's coincidence. We just had a pink moon. I believe yesterday or the day before yesterday and the blood moon is supposed to be in May um, 
There's been several blood moons. But I'm not saying this is the one, but just with, you know, everybody having visions or dreams about this rapture coming, you know, and people feeling in their spirit. And before I had felt something in my spirit, you know, like something was coming. I just didn't know what. And I didn't pray or ask to see what it was, you know, discernment. And guys, I'm telling you right now. You need to repent. Repent of your sins. Because, you know, when I read this, it brought like revelation to me, to, to me. And there's not a lot of time left. You know, I do believe the door of salvation is closing soon. And if you still have time, you need to repent. Because when you're out here living your life, you know, uh, you only live once and all this stuff, you know, like you don't only live once. When you die, your soul goes somewhere. And that's either one of two places, heaven or hell. Do you know Christ? Do you know God? Are you within Christ? Are you saved? Because if you're not, you could end up in the place that you don't want to be for the rest of your eternity. And that's scary. And I had gotten careless and I was, I started drifting away, living in the world and, and in the sin. And, you know, the enemy's a liar and they will lie to you. And I have fell back. I black backslid a lot that my own spirit, I couldn't discern what was right or wrong. And I know the truth, but I wasn't listening to it. So when I came upon this last night, it just, whoom. and I've read this before. But I just, I hadn't uh, thought about it, you know? And I'm glad, you know, God had me, had sh like showed it to me to wake me up. And, you know, the whole time, after, you know, and this had been like weeks that I had been praying and reading the Bible, to, you know, trying to repent, trying to like, soften my heart and nothing was working and I, I was feeling like like man like did god leave me like did he leave me but i'm like no it says you know in scripture you know god is always there i'm like but i don't feel him i don't feel peace i don't feel his presence i don't feel him talking to me you know i don't feel my, the holy spirit you know and um After this, like nothing could get to my heart, but after I read this, a fear installed into my heart that I just started, to, I got down on my knees and started to pray. And I asked, you know, deep from my heart, I asked, you know, I like I repented, asked for forgiveness. And after that, I felt peace and, and joy. So I know it was the right thing. And after this, I don't know what, why it came to, to my mind, like Hebrews, Hebrews 12. And <clears throat> Hebrews 12, verse 4. And it says, <clears throat> In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding your blood. And have you completely forgotten this word of encouragement that addresses you as a father addresses his son? It says, my son, do not make light of the Lord's discipline and do not lose heart when he rebukes you because the Lord disciplines the one he loves and he chastens 
everyone he accepts as his son. Endure hardship as discipline. God is treating you as his children. For what children are not disciplined by their father? If you are not disciplined and everyone undergoes discipline, then you are not legitimate, not true sons and daughters at all. Moreover, we have all had human fathers who disciplined us and we respect them for it. How much more should we submit to the father of spirits and live? They discipline us for a little while as they thought best, but God disciplines us for our good in order that we may share in his holiness. No discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful. Later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. It says it right there. And he answered what I was, I, what I have been asking, like why, why do you, why do I feel like you forsaken me? Like, if, you know, did I really mess up? And you know what? When you keep on sinning, like how I go back to chapter ten, uh, verse twenty six, when he talks about when you keep on sinning willfully and you know the truth, there's no longer uh, there's no payment like of sins because it's like you're putting Jesus on the cross again right it's like you're crucifying him again because you keep sin sinning and that's like and it said like you're trampling on the foot like you're trampling on the sun with your foot and it's like we're disrespect and that's why the holy spirit will leave and you know it comes to a point if you keep doing it you keep doing it you keep doing it god's gonna be like you know what all right and that's what happened and boom, I backslid so, so like once I felt the spirit leave, I backslid so bad. I started feeling my old self that God had saved me from. But this time it was worse in the sin that I was committing. That particular sin, just a whole wave of it would come at me. And I was like, man, and I just felt the flood of sin in me and it was uncontrollable and it was ridiculous and you know after that i had tr i you know prayed and stuff and like over time it got better but i wasn't still whole and i didn't feel anything and i kept looking searching asking god you know Forgive me, open my heart, give me a heart of flesh, soften my heart, Lord, you know, nothing. And it, 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 I was like, what, what's going on, you know? And after last night, after I had done my fast, you know, he, that's when, you know, and God's always, he always has perfect timing for everything. And he made me realize this. And it installed fear in my heart. And that was good, because I needed that. And when I read that, you know, if God didn't love you, he wouldn't discipline you. It's like it said, like, a father disciplines his child. It's like my son. If my son does anything bad, uh, I'm gonna discipline him, right? You know? When we go to God, we have to go to him as children, asking him for anything, like whether you're asking him about a certain thing, you have questions or you need something, like you go to your father because you're dependent on your father, just like a child is dependent on you if you have kids. They, they ask you for everything, right? And that's how God wants you to be because we are his children, but to be a child of God, you know, it's very serious in these times we're living in. And I urge everybody, if you have not accepted Jesus into your life, You can accept him right now.
you know, tomorrow is never promised. And it really isn't because tomorrow could be your last day on this earth. And depending on the life you lived, you'll be judged, you know? We're all gonna be judged. Even I, you know, even, uh, you know, even Christians, you know, you know, everybody's going to be judged. But are you saved? You know, turn away. It says, you know, turn away from your sins. Accept Jesus. Believe that he died on the cross for you, for your sins, that he shed blood for your sins. Believe it in your heart when you accept them. I just, people need to wake up. You know, I'm glad God showed me this last night. This was for me, but I also think it's for everybody else. And if you have not accepted Christ into your life, do so right now. And we can do a prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray that whoever's watching this on the other side of the screen receives this message and changes his ways and that he accepts you. Now repeat after me, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I believe your son, Jesus Christ, died on the cross for our sins and shed blood for our sins. I turn away from this life and accept your son and believe in him with all my heart. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. I hope you guys Whoever is seeing this accepted it and that if you prayed this with me and you believed it in your heart, that you feel different, you know, because once you pray that prayer and you believe it with your heart and you believe that Jesus is Lord, he promises you the Holy Spirit and you will be saved. But it's up to you after that to decide whether you're going to keep in his faith and turn away from sin. So thank you, everybody. I hope you guys had a good day today. God bless all of you. In Jesus' name, amen.